is a beautiful world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World. Life is more worth living. Life is more deep, enjoyable, meaningful. When you're engaged with the world in a curious, open way, and, you, and you're willing to sort of take chances, go wandering a little bit with the, with the hope that you might just sort of find something that expands your sense of what's possible in the world. That's Dylan Thuris, co-creator of a website and a book called Atlas Obscura, a unique compendium of places around the globe that inspire wonder and wanderlust. Among many other things, the book features castles, crypts, curious contraptions, isolated places, lost cities, natural wonders, outsider art, strange architecture, underground caves, unusual collections, and very large things. Places that your average tourist never sees. It's funny because outside of Uffizi, you know, there are these lines that are six hours long and these tourists that are just tired and bedraggled and may or may not actually want to even go see the paintings in the Uffizi but feel like, okay, this is, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing here. However, if they walk around the block and go into the History of Science Museum, you know, among these armillary spheres and lodestones and incredibly beautiful telescopes is this little glass egg with a small human fragment in it, and it is Galileo's middle finger. Dylan created Atlas Obscura with Joshua Four and Ella Morton as a compendium of places for people who prefer taking the road less traveled. The stuff that was out there, there were some outer print books, there were a few websites, but nothing really comprehensive, nothing worldwide, and nothing that uh, treated this stuff with a real sense of, of respect, of actual kind of intellectual curiosity, and that didn't just say, oh, that's weird. Atlas Obscura features the unexpected, the overlooked, the hidden, and the mysterious, like the dazzling glowworm caves of New Zealand, or the baobab tree in South Africa that's so large it has a pub inside where 15 people can drink comfortably, or the ancient stepwells of India, and a baby jumping festival in Spain, an eccentric bone museum in Italy, and a weather forecasting invention that was powered by leeches in England. There's the gates of hell, which is this giant 200-foot hole in the Turkmenistan desert. 45 years later, it is still on fire. In Peru, or the last Incan bridge, is a guy named uh, Jim Bishop in Colorado who's been building Bishop Castle for the last 40 years. There are the living root bridges in Cherrapunji, India. Atlas Obscura is not meant to be taken as an absolute authority or a global encyclopedia. It's more of a jumping off point to expand our sense of how strange and marvelous the world can be. It celebrates some of the most curious places in the world, and everything in it is a physical site that you can get to, a place with a latitude and a longitude. And Dylan says this is meant to encourage people to explore the world around them. The range is, is really, is there something in this that makes you surprised and have that sense of, wow, I, I had no idea that existed. And, and then when you get that sense, it's sort of your worldview starts to open up a little bit. You start to kind of maybe see the world with more of a sense of, of the possibility of, of what's out there and, and also the possibility for yourself to go kind of have some of those experiences. At its heart, Atlas Obscura is about passion and the people and places that make this world strangely beautiful. I find such joy and wonder in the things that people choose to dedicate their life to, I, I find in that really something core about what it is to be a human and what makes people happy. These are people who are, who are fulfilled. They are dedicated deeply to what they are doing. And I think that that makes for an interesting, rich, beautiful world. That's what I want to, that's how I want to live. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World. Brought to you with help from the Polad Family Foundation.